We've come away for a couple of days um, to, and we stay in a little village called Wing, which is just near Rutland Water. Um, we're going to go to Rutland Water and try and see the otter tomorrow, but I've managed to sneak a couple of hours this morning. Um, so I've come to a habitat I don't really come to much, which is farmland, which I should do really, because you get some great birds out in farmland. Um, and it's mile after mile of arable field here with some brilliant hedgerows, some nice trees, some old trees that are, have been left standing and dying, which is great because wildlife is, needs dead wood. Um, and I've already spotted one or two things that um, has got my ears pricked up. Some bird song. So come along, let's see what we can find. I'm looking forward to this. Um, and already I've been out, what, 10, 15 minutes and I've had a pretty good start. Um, coming down the fields, I've just been watching house sparrows, starlings, uh, swallows uh, feeding um, on a field amongst some sheep and lambs. And then surprisingly enough, uh, I got a yellow wagtail, which was really nice. I've not seen one of them for three or four years. That was brilliant. See, I think I've just heard a little owl as well, so I'm going to go back up the trail and see if there's an old tree that's dead and fallen to pieces over there. I think it might be coming from there, so I'm going to have a look there. Um, and there's yellow hammers singing, there's white throats, so I'm hoping to get them on film as well, so. come round this corner and spotted this nice display of red campion and there's cow parsley everywhere, everywhere as you'd imagine but in this little bit of woodland here there's this carpet of forget-me-nots absolutely stunning <laughs> beautiful I don't think I've ever seen so many in one place absolutely beautiful and you might be able to hear this white throat singing behind me somewhere as well. Just got to find it now. It's close because I can hear it. There's a black cap there. A wren. And then I've got to try and find this white throat. So enough of this talking and more of doing. can't find this white throat anywhere. But while I was looking, I saw a buzzard in the distance. I was following the buzzard and then this gorgeous red kite came into shot. Beautiful. We don't get many red kites in Derbyshire, so really, really nice to see. I just, I can see it now. I can see the buzzard and the red kite just soaring around. Beautiful. Brilliant. So I gave up on that white throat uh, down in the woods. It was just singing right from the top of the willow trees and it was against the sky. You couldn't really get any decent footage. So I've come out uh, into the farmland again and I'm gonna try and get one and singing from the top of the hedgerow, which will be more head height and the shot should be a lot better. So we'll give that a go. I've <laughs> just been joined by two kites now. Um, both sort of soaring around looking for something to eat and then one landed in a tree not too far away but not close enough for any great images but you can see it eating something in this tree here. And 
and then another one I think must have got a little bit too close to a magpie nest or something because the magpie went after it and it dwarfed the magpie. The magpie looked tiny at the side of the kite but the magpie was having none of it and the kite made its way away from the magpie's territory. So uh, <laughs> it's all happening. Who would have thought it, eh? Exciting farmland. I've only got about another half hour left now and then I've got to get back. Um, but yeah, what a fantastic, fantastic couple of hours. I've heard um, red leg partridges as well somewhere, but I just can't pick them out. They'd be amongst the uh, crops in the field somewhere. The skylark's up singing as well, but they're just way, way too high for me to be able to film with my equipment. Um, but I can hear another white throat again now. So back to the white throats. So these are the, the hedgerows that I've been scanning trying to find these white throats. And they are about, I keep seeing them flitting around, but they're not up and singing just yet. Um, so I might, I've only got about 10 minutes left and I've got to set back. Uh, I can see them in the hedgerow, yeah. But of course in the hedgerow you can't get a film, I'm waiting for one to come up and land on the top of the hedge. Here's one. Yeah, so there's a chiff chaff going over there as well. Yes, it's a tricky one this. You're very flighty. But I'm gonna head back the way I've come because I need to start heading back. Ah. one singing up in the willow where I first heard it. <laughs> I got it. Not very close, it's not the best footage. I forgot of white throats, but the persistence paid off. But it was at the top of the willow. I tried to get it the first time. But while going up and down that hedgerow there, I saw, oh, excuse me, hit your nose. Yeah, so while going up and down that hedgerow, I got my red kite footage. Uh, I've seen uh, red leg partridge uh, so not a complete waste of time at all anyway time to go back Lynn will be waiting for me back at the house now chip chaff again uh, so thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed it um, subscribe that would be lovely ping that little bell so you get notifications on when the next video is out uh, and hopefully there'll be a lot more of them coming up now. Lockdown's almost over and we can get out a little bit more. So thank you. See you again. Ta-da.